here welcome back to my channel welcome to another vlog i'm gonna do a little work day in my life situation it's the first tuesday back after the holidays it's january 3rd baby oh it's my nephew's three month birthday three month yeah oh my god okay <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna take you through a little day in the life of me working for myself. Also getting back into routine after the holidays. My first time doing this. So we shall see how it goes. I just made a little Americano Misto vibe. I'm gonna add my rainbow 1111 drops for, I already discussed this last vlog, a lot of great benefits we love our adaptogens went on a little walk this morning try to get outside in the morning and then normally i would have a workout around now 9 20 so normally i have training monday wednesday friday i have personal training in the morning and then on tuesday and thursday i usually will do like pilates at jaybird or berries or spot and tonic or some sort of workout like that or maybe i'll run today i might take a rest day i haven't decided yet but i feel like i should Keep working out because it's like it's the third of january you know we'll see i'll probably do an evening workout if i do a workout today i sometimes like to switch it up i'm setting a new morning routine for myself so in the morning i did before i got out of bed i made a promise to myself last night i filled out my five minute journal i got a fit journal like the five minute fit one it just looks like here i'm gonna put you my windowsill it just looks like that it's a five minute journal but this is the fit edition so it has a lot of different things in it that are more geared towards like well-being and wellness there's the my commitment so like i lana bloomberg commit to using the five minute journal fit edition for at least seven days in a row starting january 3rd so today and then it says my health and well-being are important to me because if i follow through with my health goals for seven days i will re reward myself with blank if i don't follow through i will promise to blank and this kind of goes with like the contract method that james clear talks about in atomic habits i'll do the following things to ensure i stick to my commitments and then it goes into a section about my identity statement what are three major obstacles that would stop me from writing in the journal write two actions that you'll take per obstacle to ensure resistance doesn't overpower your will and then you have your well-being goals so what do you want to actually achieve by using this journal set your intention create your wellness vision so you do like a manifestation visualize yourself from four months from now what are you doing to take care of your body how do you want to feel physically how will you nourish your mental health how will you ensure that you have enough energy by writing a detailed and clear vision you are in a way planting a mental seed that will help you act and make decisions to nurture its potential and then it goes into you set three goals and you do goal one why is it a goal important how will it improve your well-being what actions and resources will help you achieve it? and then you do that for all the goals and then what i love is it has a habit tracker so i spoke about this a bit on my podcast but you can use a habit tracker to help keep track of your habit i did this for january i have drink two to three water two to three liters of water a day walk 8k steps a day read 20 minutes journal in the morning and night make coffee at home no coffee after 3 p.m in bed by 11 p.m and make meals at home so the journal has weekly planning you can plan out your workouts and then your meals which is super nice i like that it's weekly planning so what is your intention for the week which you guys all know if you listen to the pod i always set a weekly intention your fitness goals and how will i motivate myself and then you go into your a.m and p.m reflections did that this morning i woke up and i turned on my lamp and i I did that because it's still dark in the morning and then i obviously got out of bed made my bed brushed my teeth washed my face got dressed and then i went on a little walk picked up some groceries just need some avocados did a big grocery order yesterday and now i'm in my coffee and i'm gonna read for at least 20 minutes i'm pretty much done my book i'm like on the last few chapters so i want to finish that i'm currently reading reminders of him by colleen hoover set a goal of reading 12 books this year and I've already read one. I read Verity in one day, but I also know that like this pace probably won't keep up. I don't know. I go through phases with reading. I still want to be really consistent with it, and that's like my goal to get back into consistently reading. We'll see. But we're gonna go read. This is like my new morning routine that I'm establishing. Like before I worked out. Obviously, this would normally be earlier because my walk would be a little shorter. But we're gonna sit and read. I also been making it a goal of mine 
to drink water before coffee so i did that i haven't had a sip of my coffee yet actually i did but i did drink water when i woke up and i'm gonna take my probiotic we're just trying to get back into our really good wellness habits i feel like i kind of got a little less disciplined with them over the past year or so and i just want to get back into my good books so probiotic I'm gonna fill up my Stanley. I'm gonna try to drink three of these today. This one is the 30 ounce one. I'll link it in the description below. Love it so much. This is the probiotic I take. It's the Ritual Symbiotic. And if you go to ritual.com slash Alana, you can get 10% off your first three months. This isn't sponsored. They sponsor the podcast. But I thought I would share. Let's fill, fill up my, my Stanley, shall we? <laughs> Let's go read. You guys, I just fully spilt coffee all over my couch. So I just had to take the cover off of this cushion and put it in. I normally try not to do washing before 7 p.m., but I just, it's a white couch and I don't want it to stain. And normally the stains do come out. So use my Resolve, put it in the wash. We're praying. Note to self, don't put your coffee cup on your couch. That wasn't even when it spilled. It was when I went back to go read, I like sloshed it everywhere. So back to reading. Sorry for the background noise of my washing machine. I just finished All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover and it's so good. This is my little tip. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but if I finish a book, I have to read a chapter of my next book right afterwards because otherwise I might like not be as motivated or inclined to start another book. I have Reminders of Him. I originally wanted to read that before and I couldn't find it on iBook. Then I remembered that my sister had sent me a bunch of PDFs of books and it was in there. So I'm gonna read the first chapter. I definitely read for more than 20 minutes this morning but that's okay i don't have like tight deadlines right now or many things to do today so it's around like 10 41 i'm gonna read a chapter of this book and then i'm going to grab my mind your business planner and just write out my to-do list of things that i need to do today i do have some tasks that i want to finish my youtube video because originally i was going to get that up yesterday but i just like really wanted to just relax finish editing that i want to do some podcast promotion stuff i have some emails to get back to i might be hiring someone to help me with like my podcast marketing and everything with that getting back to her email we're gonna sit here and read the first chapter and i'm also gonna probably make breakfast after i make that to-do list so yeah little life update i know this vlog is very chatty let me know if you like more montagey or if you like sitting chatting almost like we're on facetime vibes let me know we're going to write out our to-do list this is the mind your business planner not sponsored by nissan i honestly really love it it did take a while to come like she said on her site like that it would come in seven days it definitely took like close to a month but it was really worth it i like that it has a week overview so you can do your goals for the week priorities don't forget errands and then there's a little habit tracker here as well there's also a mind dump section which is really helpful for calls clients and such and then each day has something i'm grateful for my top three priorities my to-do list highlight of the day and then a schedule and then they have like the dates i would say like my feedback for this is like i wish it wasn't like set as like saying Monday or whatever. I wish it was like there was an undated version just because sometimes I guess this is like my fault. Like I don't use it all the time. So then I don't want to waste pages. So then I'll just cross out um, like if it says Monday and put whatever day it is just so I'm not wasting. We're going to fill out the my week and then go into I know like I didn't use Monday, but we'll go into Tuesday. <laughs> This is the finished meal. Just this is the little big bread from Little Northern Bakehouse, I think. And then 
three eggs scrambled with butter, olive oil, and salt, as always. Something I always make sure to do is clean up my space. Put the toaster away, wipe the counters, clean the pot, clean the pan before I move on with life after finishing my meal. Especially when I'm working from home, a clear space is a clear mind and it allows me to focus better. So as much as I hate cleaning this freaking always pan, which I do love it, I can't just throw it in the dishwasher. It makes me feel so much better knowing that it's all clean. Make sure to clean and your future self will thank you for doing that. I was at my mom's with well, my parents last week and she sprayed the counter with Lysol and I actually forgot how much. I love the smell of this. I have so many cleaning products that I just hate the smell of, but Lysol, it just hits different. Do you have any recommendations for cleaning products? Let me know. I also really like the Vim Bleach Spray. It's like Power Shine or something. I'm going to put on a podcast. Actually, no, I'm not gonna put on a podcast because I have to edit my YouTube video and I need to focus on that. But we're gonna be editing. I did set my background on my computer as my vision board for 2023. I made it on Canva. I spoke about it in episode 105 of my podcast, Morning Ray. But this is usually my setup. I'll typically move this up here so it's out of the way and then i always have water or coffee with me i'm gonna try finish this i do really want another coffee but i'm going to finish my stanley before i have more coffee because i've been trying to drink more water and right now i've probably had more coffee than water so we're gonna do that this is the vibe that's what it's like kind of plan out your tasks for the day and then decide what is like the most important i don't know we learned something in first year business it was like do you leave the toad or do you eat it like the toad is like your biggest i don't remember the exact phrase i always try to start with the task that's the biggest and the most daunting also this lighting is i don't have the light on i usually start with the task that's the biggest and most daunting and then that usually gives me enough motivation to keep going on to the rest of them and then i don't have to worry about the big scary task so right now my big scary task is editing my youtube video because it's normally like the most timely i'm gonna do that and then i will be done with <laughs> I finished my hydro and some my hydro fast my Stanley and now I gotta have my second coffee. We're gonna do an espresso again. Cut it. I'm a little lazy right now to be honest. I need to make my nail for the YouTube video and then I will schedule it to go live later. I'm going to make the infinite infinite double espresso these ones the holiday ones you can't tell me sorry that my hand's gonna be shaky that this isn't the best feeling ever we did this this now we're going to do this awesome I just built out all the book racks I went through and found the authors of everything and categorized it by author because like obviously I knew there was going to be a lot of Colleen Hoover, Taylor Jenkins, Emily Henry. They're all categorized like this and then I made a home in our Geneva for book club so that we can discuss books because I thought that could be fun. I did it in like a forum thing kind of how for I think it's under current obsessions so you can kind of create like a blog post and then you're able to discuss books or or like if someone's looking for rom-coms or thrillers like it's super easy to categorize and see instead of it being a chat kind of like the angel hangout and hot girl reset and like the other ones so i thought that could be fun and i think i'm gonna post a link to this so that you can access it in there too now i get to check off another thing and now we get to answer emails so 
I basically finished all of my to-do list for today except for recording the pod intro and uploading it and then obviously I want to still work out. It's 3.35 p.m. so which means I don't have coffee anymore actually finish this coffee but i answered all my emails i edited and uploaded my vlog and that's all ready to go live in like an hour and a half i created the stories and did the whole list for the book club recommendations and then created that channel on my geneva which is always linked below for you to join i'm gonna take a break and read who would have thought that i was motivating my motivating myself to complete all my to-do lists so that i can read very interesting. I'm gonna relax and read. So gloomy out today and honestly really proud of myself for getting these things done. I didn't want my list to be too crazy. Normally I try to keep it between three to five things to keep it realistic and find balance. So I'm gonna read a little bit. Maybe if it's not raining, I'll go on a walk. I think I'm just gonna run later if I don't work out. It's fine. Today will just be my rest day. We'll see how I feel. That's what's up you guys also i love having my phone set as a portion of my vision board so right now it's focused on the self-care and career aspect because that's what my primary focus is right now so i'm gonna go read and i'll sit over there i need to actually put the cover back on my cushion because that's done what being washed now so i'll do that and then i'll read I've been reading for the last little bit. I have to let the battery charge because it died on my camera. I'm halfway through my second one of these and I decided for dinner I'm going to do chicken, broccoli, and cauliflower rice. And it's this teriyaki chicken recipe. It's just chicken, broccoli, soy sauce, coconut sugar, sesame oil, ginger, cornstarch, garlic cloves, and then optional sesame seeds. I have teriyaki sauce, but I wanted something homemade so it was healthier because like the teriyaki sauce has a lot of like additives I think in it. We're gonna use our soy sauce, garlic, and ginger. I'm gonna use avocado oil for my oil because it has a high burn, high po burn point, boiling point, I don't know what it is. Then I have my sesame oil. I'm gonna grab my coconut sugar and my cornstarch. Cornstarch and coconut sugar. I have my chicken over there. We're gonna cut that up and let's get started. <laughs> I also try to like stack all like the measuring things together or I put a piece of paper towel down to make the process a lot easier of cleaning because the cleaning part is not the fun part. for the veggies. intro and outro for next week's pod episode i'm enjoying my tea and now we're just gonna chill and read i'm not gonna work out today i've decided that we're just gonna chill it's already 7 33 if i wait until like my food is digested it will probably be like eight and then 
it's just gonna make my night late. Um, so we're gonna take a rest day today. But this was a little work day in my life, a chill getting back into things after the New Year's. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up as that's how you can help support my channel. And let me know in the comments below what other types of videos you want to see. If you want more videos like this one, if you want more work week in my life vlogs, if you want more sit down videos, let me know what you want. I want to make what you want to see. So let me know. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next vlog. Mm -hmm.